a business implementer's guide to BYOB, building your organizational ball. Do you fall asleep thinking about how your firm has run off the rails, tired of fixing the constant fire drills, have headaches from solving for the same recurring mistake day after day? Well, I have some good news. You, your team, and your business can get back on the rails, provided you have the right person to assemble the right framework. Meet the business implementer. And yes, I'm one of them. Business implementers bring a suite of tools and processes to fix the broken parts of the business, fit them together, and build a structure to drive your company forward in a more purposeful direction. The business implementer can affect the organization through a coach position, such as an advisor or board member, or as a player coach role in a CEO or COO position. So how do all the parts of your business fit together? Business implementers look at organizations through a different experiential lens. For my 20 years of helping firms run more smoothly, I built the BYOB framework. I continue to refine the model, which articulates a complex set of systems working together to make up a business. Now let's imagine your company as a metal ball smoothly rolling along two thin metal round rails, your strategic plan, in a purposeful direction towards your vision. Seems simple, right? Well, now let's dig a little deeper and examine each of the component parts. If you cut the ball in half, you'll see three distinct layers. The core comprised of mission and values, the middle layer made up of people, and the outer layer made of technology. Inner core, mission statement, and corporate values. To move forward, the core stays the same size, no matter how large the ball grows. Weakness in this area can make the ball and your business collapse inward with no chance of return. It's critical to get the mission and values right with complete buy-in. No one can be above the set values, and that includes the founder of the firm. After all, if the leaders don't live up to the values you set, no one will, and the statements won't be worth the paper they are written on. Business implementers help facilitate the necessary discussions to tease out the values and mission that are true to your organization. Middle layer, people. The organization's people share the values and are excited about the purpose of the firm. To shift images for a moment, imagine a crew boat skimming along the Charles River in Boston. It might look like the team just happens to fall into a perfect synchronicity for the hull to skim along the water. But it takes a coxswain, or within a business, a manager, to ensure the right people are in the right seats, rowing at exactly the same rhythm, to move in the right direction, in complete alignment with a single goal in mind. Getting a coordinated group of people who effectively collaborate and communicate with one another requires patience addressing old wounds, and very close vigilance. A business implementer can help develop an optimal organizational design that can then match skill sets to the functional responsibilities, who can then implement ways to integrate effective communication and collaboration across all areas of the firm. At a business implementer's disposal are a broad set of tools, including personality tests to screen applicants, training and development programs for every employee, aligning individual SMART goals to departmental goals, rolling out key performance indicators to create simple operational dashboards. According to a CB Insights report, 23% of businesses fail because they did not have the right team in place. But if you get this piece right, you will be well on your way to having a functional framework. Maximizing and aligning the talents of an organization is one of the key pieces of BYOB framework, which will help create the energy to move the ball forward. Outer core, technology. The outer layer of the ball, technology, will enable the firm to scale and grow. This includes not only technology and software, but also the processes and tools that are unique to your business. It is the true intellectual property that you've created over the years. Technology gives the employees the tools they need to be most efficient and effective, reduce errors, improve turnaround times, and increase output and overall capacity. 
In this quickly changing business landscape, firms are dying a quick death from competitors that are superior in optimizing technology and resources. So a constant focus on this outer layer is essential to grow your business, not to mention to simply survive. Implementers will keep a keen eye on what can be systematized and automated, saving the firm time and money. One example is identifying opportunities to move a company from a paper-heavy organization to paperless, and moving a firm to live dashboard reporting, which will in turn allow the team to make quicker and smarter database decisions. Visionary Light A firm's vision guides the ball's direction. The company's energy and work are focused on reaching a set 10-year vision for where the company will be. It must be exciting and worth all of the effort and energy required to get there. Recessions, the day-to-day -day grind, key departures, competitive forces, and even pandemics can all cloud the vision and may require you to pivot and adjust the vision in order to survive. A business implementer can help clarify the vision, help adjust as appropriate, and focus his or her time on attention on building the pieces required to get there. Rails, the strategic plan. The strategic planning process is what allows the ball to reach the vision. The process starts off with updating a business plan which forces the leadership to strategize before setting strategy. An updated business plan takes into account the historical timeline, milestones, addressable market, competitive intelligence, trends in the marketplace, and the key risks and costs of entering new markets. This type of analysis will help ensure that the firm does not go out of business due to the lack of market opportunity, as 42% of all other small businesses do. The actual strategic plan is forward-looking only. There is one strategic plan for business operations and one plan for sales and marketing efforts. These are three-year plans that lay out the specific tactics, timeline, and responsible parties. Operational plans align internal projects, including technology, people, and process improvements, while the marketing plan focuses on sales and revenue generation. The two plans support one another. Imagine two rail tracks of the exact same width, allowing the sphere to roll towards the vision. It is important to incorporate the financial planning with the marketing and operational plans. After all, 30% of small businesses die from running out of cash. A business implementer will keep a watchful eye on finances to minimize firm-wide risk. In addition, the business implementer will integrate the appropriate cadence and structure for the meetings. For example, strategic planning might kick off at a three-day offsite in the fall, followed by a final plan in place at year-end and then quarterly reviews thereafter until the cycle repeats itself. Okay, you're convinced you've got to get your ball rolling, but how would you select a business implementer and where would they start? Well, avoid the loud opinionated outsider who arrives with someone else's book and templates. Avoid someone who comes in with a playbook or canned approach they learned over a weekend training conference. Like you would choose a doctor for a major surgery, choose an implementer with the experience to work on your most prized asset. Instead, spend some time choosing someone you respect and trust, someone who has an independent viewpoint on business. Ask for referrals or even a two-hour free session to see if you think it'll be a good fit. And once you select a business implementer, they will need to start by identifying the core issues by completing a full business audit. This can be done by reading the financials and marketing materials, speaking to current and former employees in different departments, senior management and shareholders. They will also use one of the most powerful tools out there, observation, seeing how decisions are made and delegated, noting meeting structure and frequency, and interaction within groups. The issues and remediation actions can be aggregated into a single corrective action plan, which will ultimately fold into the operational strategic plan. To conclude, 
the right implementer will bring a framework and a broad set of tools that they can use to transform your business. If you get the right implementer, you will undoubtedly look back at this decision as the single point which your company got back on the rails. And whether that is through implementing the BYOB framework or something else that works for your firm, you will start sleeping better, enjoying work once again, and with a little luck, building tremendous value along the way.